How's the real estate market looking at the beginning of 2024? Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group and this is the Wenatchee Valley Real Estate Market Update for February. It's really interesting because sales are up 24%. And so when you read the headlines about the housing market and all the concerns and the interest rates, you would assume that sales have declined. But in fact, sales are up, which shows us something. That shows us that there's still a really good appetite for sales, for homes, 24%. That's a sizable return or sizable increase compared to last year. Now, the increase is from 2023, January, and we're looking at January 2024, and we see a 24% increase. Well, if you remember in 2023, interest rates were really low. So we're comparing this environment with higher interest rates to an environment with lower interest rate, and we're beating it. So demand's actually better than it was with lower interest rates. So all the talk about high interest rates and how that's killing demand or people, people can't afford homes, well, that's not changing their demand. It's not changing their activity. So what's that say? Well, there's a lot of people moving to Wenatchee still, and they're always gonna be moving to Wenatchee. We know this. And we know that a lot of those people don't need loans. That's not all of them, but a lot of them are coming over and paying cash or have a big down payment. So they're not affected by interest rates as much as you think. And then you combine that with pent up demand. So all the first time home buyers and people that want to own a home that haven't been able to get a home and during the pandemic and COVID, they were getting beat out by the investors. Well, they're fed up and they want to buy a home and they're willing to do it. And so we're seeing that demand show up right there. And what's interesting though, is anytime you look at demand, you always have to look at the supply. And because the supply and the demand is going to tell you what's happening with prices. And I'm going to tell you what prices are doing in just a minute. Active inventory. So the active number of listings on the market, it's down 17% from last year. We were already really low in 2023. Inventory was drastically low in 2023. And now we're 17% lower. So what do you think? Demand's up, supply's down. What do you think is happening to prices? Well, we're showing right now entering 2024, the beginning of 2024, we're showing prices are up 3%. So they're starting to rebound. In 2023, they went down 5%, 5 to 7%. In fact, I think it's more like 7% they went down in 2023 because of the interest rates. But we're seeing that rebound. So did we actually hit a, a bottom and started in a rebound back up? Quite possibly. The only thing that would change that rebound in prices is if in, inventory jumped up. Now I do think going into the spring, seasonally, you're gonna see an increase in inventory. We'll probably do another video on this, the best time to list your home all year. It's coming up soon. You'll probably see it in March or April. I'll give you the exact date on the video, but you know, we're gonna see inventory drop up. That's gonna be interesting to see what, how much inventory hits on the spring. Is it gonna be a tidal wave? Is it gonna be a tsunami of sellers hitting the marketplace? Or is it gonna be, uh, a normal distribution of sellers. I don't know yet, we don't know, we don't know. We do know people are still putting their homes on the market, obviously, and why wouldn't you when you can still get great prices? Our team has been going on listing appointments, meeting with sellers uh, at, at a rate higher than normal. I mean, I could just tell you just, the, just yesterday, we went on probably went to seven different homeowners or property or talked to property owners just yesterday so it's not just homes, but it's land too, because I think a lot of people are looking to buy land to build on because there's nothing to, to buy. So we got that going on. Average sales price is up 3%. What you should know is this really cool thing that I look at is list price to sell price ratio. So if you put your home on the market today, what will the offers look like, right? Two years ago, three years ago during the pandemic, right? You heard about multiple offer situation, lots of demand, people with lines in the street for homes. Your home, when you put your home on the market for a hundred thousand, you're going to get $10,000 over list price, $30,000 over list price, hundred thousand dollars over list price, right? That's, that was 103, 104%. Right now, if you list your home on the market, you're probably going to get an offer a little bit lower, right? So, 93% low actually. So if you put your home on the market for 500,000, you know, you're probably going to get an offer for, you know, 460, 470, right? And maybe the buyer's going to ask you to pay for a little bit of a loan cost, maybe to pay down some of those fees because the rates are so high, or maybe they want you to buy down the rate 
a little bit. We're seeing that, you know, we're seeing incentives. Builders are giving incentives out there, you know, enticing buyers to buy their home, right? Kind of lower that, that cost to get into home ownership. So it's something you need to think about. So 93%. Now at our company, Nate McLean Real Estate Group, I want to beat those numbers because when you hire us, I want to beat the competition. You know, the single most important thing, decision you have to make when it comes to selling your home is what agent you choose. And so I think the agent can make a difference here. See, these, this is the average. This isn't me. I'm going to beat that number. I'm going to beat it really good, actually. So we're seeing offers on some of our homes. We had a home in Fancher Heights in East Wenatchee, if you know where that is. We sold that one, right? I don't know. Full price, or really close to full price. 97%, 98% of full price. Um, we recently listed a house in Quincy. I can't tell you the details, but I can tell you this, we had four offers, and anytime we have four offers, we're gonna get full price or more. So there's still opportunity to get that multiple offer situation if you have the right marketing. So overall in the marketplace, let's just give you the recap. Sales are up, they can't stay up because inventory is way down and I need supply. Sellers are gonna be coming on in the spring, they always do, and that might be you. That might be you, and I don't think that's a bad move because prices are up, right? Are prices gonna to continue to go up? I don't know, we don't know that, but I'm gonna shoot a video soon to tell you when to list your house. If you're curious on what your home's worth, you can always go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com or wavalues.com. That's W-A values.com. Go to wavalues.com, you enter in your address, you click get report, you might have to add, add a couple more details and it's gonna give you a value of your home. So go there right now or give us a call. We'd love to talk to you and help you sell your home.